and the Avesta is the holy book of the Zoroastrians and one of the oldest scriptures. It is written in an ancient language known as Avestan, which was the language spoken by Zoroaster roughly 3,500 years ago. The Avesta contains hymns from Zoroaster himself known as Gathas. These hmm, get, okay, guess, so they contain Gathas. 17 Gathas are deeply important to Zoroastrians and most Zoroastrian belief is based on them. Due to the violence Zoroastrians have suffered throughout history, only a fraction of the Avesta survives today. Wow. For example, Zoroastrians believe that when Alexander the Great... Look, yeah, they're like, oh, look at this Alexander the Great with his blonde hair. So he burned the purse police, um, or Takhta Jamshid. So, and this is when, this is one of the, you know, I don't know. So there are three major invasions of Persia that was really devastating to the Persian empires. The first one was the invasion by Alexander the Great, and when he burned down the Persian police. Um, the second one was the Arab invasion. And the last one, the last major one that was very devastating was the Mongol invasion. Right? So let's see what, let's see what, what the belief is. When Alexander came and uh, invaded Persia, For example, Zoroastrians believe that when Alexander the Great conquered the Achaemenid Empire, he burned the royal palace at Persepolis and its library to the ground. And its library. Okay, guys, this is very... It, the more you read, the more you understand Alexander the Great, the more this act of burning down a library in Persepolis seems out of character. You know, Alexander was not... His philosophy was about building bridges and taking down borders and connecting cultures and building libraries and sharing knowledge from everything I, this is a very weird part of alexander's history like burning down persepolis including the library it's like very like compared to everything else he did this act like i don't know what happened that night maybe he was drunk i mean he was he was a drunk so i don't know maybe that night he was like something happened but this is so out of character yeah, I know Alexander came to India too. Destroying a complete. No, yeah, I mean, his philosophy was conquering stuff. I'm not okay, but but his goal was to connect the world and share the culture and knowledge. I'm not. I'm not defending him. I'm just saying this is. I was. I'm. Not, I'm just saying this is out of character. Mm. and its library to the ground, destroying a complete copy of the Avesta, written in gold on 12,000 goat skins. Did wow, it was written in gold and it all got melted down in fire. What a major loss, eh? It would have been so interesting to know what they were in. Yeah, actually, Katie, what you're saying is some people's conspiracy theory. Maybe Alexander didn't burn it and some of the, his officials did. I don't think we can exactly know what happened. Yeah, there are, there's a lot of conspiracy theories around what happened that time, that time. This might be why he isn't called Alexander the Great in Iran, but rather Alexander the Accursed. Yeah, so Alexander the Great is not a very popular figure among Iranians. He uh, He's, yeah. Alexander, yeah, they don't consider him that great. <laughs> so look, he's on the side of Ahriman because he destroyed the purse police. That, that was like the main, guys, purse police like was massive. Like it was like a major, you know. But rather, Alexander the Accursed, even more. Wait, can I show you what purse police looked like? No, we could do that another time. More of the Avesta was lost during the Arab, Turkic, and Mongol invasions of Iran. See, I told you, Arab invasion and the Mongol invasion. So a lot of that Vista was lost like as well as well. Okay, Matteo, I don't like the your homophobic attack. Yeah, Alexander was bisexual and there's nothing wrong with that. This is an insult to yourself, Matteo. This is not this this insult to Alexander is more of an insult to your, to yourself. This is a homophobic there's nothing wrong with being gay. You think that's an insult? I don't like this. I don't like that kind of insult. Ikram saying, Armin, your Russian ancestors wrote on gold plates. 
<laughs> right. See, like, look at this. You guys are still butthurt over something that happened thousands of years ago. Matteo, you're butthurt over something that happened thousands of years ago. This is your religious side showing. This is exactly how, you know, collective blaming, like, oh, come on, guys. Bro, I said respect. No, that doesn't excuse it. You said, you, yeah, I know what you said. You said, oh, respect to gay people, but we're here. Respect to all gay people, he was Alexander. No, you wanted to, like, cover, you wanted to insult him with being gay by covering your home, by, but also coming up with an excuse for why your insult. Don't, yeah. In fact, in fact, I'm, you know, never mind. And yeah, Zoroastrians really couldn't catch a break there for a while. You can read the Avesta online for free, and a lot of it is extremely beautiful and thought-provoking. But if you're a dunce like me, you'll love this section about how hedgehogs... Whoa, the section about how hedgehogs... Okay, wow, this is interesting. ...dogs, known as the dog with the prickly back, Server Hora Mazda, and turtles have sided with Anger Manu. What? Okay, so apparently hedgehogs which in the uh, in Avesta they refer to as dog with a prickly back. They're at the side of they're on the side of the good because they're with Ahura Mazda. And turtles have sided with Anger Manu. What? Tur turtles are evil. Oh, thank you, Matteo. Matteo is good at reconsidering his position every time. You're really good, Matteo. I appreciate. It. Sorry. Oh. You're really good, Matteo. I appreciate you changing your opinion like that. Very good. Very good. Very open-minded. British Pakistani thing. It was a funny joke, Armin. What was funny joke? I feel sorry for Zoroastrians. They suffered so much because of Islam. Yeah, but most of them that who suffered, they're dead. So yeah, but they're still suffering today. Akram saying zero tolerance for homophobic. Eh, no, there's tolerance because look, people can change their opinion like this. See, so we should we show some tolerance because people change. Okay, guys, why are you? I don't like Zoroastrianism now because. I like turtles. <laughs> like this is what did what the turtles ever do? What the tur the turtles did nothing wrong. Okay? Turtles are good. Do not be I do not be and this is an anti Zoroastrianism is an anti turtle religion, and that's why I'm anti Zoroastrianism. Because turtles are good. Again, hashtag turtles did nothing wrong. Okay? Ahura turtle. Turtles, yeah. Turtles are better than hedgehogs. Yes. Yeah, this is this is our blasphemy. This is how you blaspheme against the Russianism, okay? Turtles are better than hedgehogs. That is our anti Zoroastrianism blasphemy. <laughs> uh yes. Thank you, Soha, for sending Matteo some flowers. Wait, out of curiosity, I mean what was the Iranian language before Islam? It was Percy. Yes, turtle. Marco is agreeing. Guys, turtles. Turtle power. Turtle power. <laughs> turtle. Guys, turtle power. Come on, show some. <laughs> yeah, hash Katie saying hashtag turtles did nothing wrong. No, come on. Don't, don't, don't. This is your ableist privilege speaking. Turtles are slow. Turtles are wise. They live very long lives, okay? Don't hate on turtles. Come on, guys. Iran must preserve its Russian heritage, unlike Pakistan, who have annihilated. No, Iran should not preserve its Russian heritage. Iran should preserve its turtles instead, okay? Do not preserve such a bigoted anti-turtle religion. Screw Zoroastrianism. Down with Zoroastrianism. Save the turtles. Yeah, but the dialect and script. It was Michi. I don't know how to translate that. The script was michi. It would be used like nails. What is that called in English? Uh, now we finally know who Sonic the Hedgehog is and those goddamn Teenage Mutant. Oh, yes. It's Sonic the Hedgehog versus the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. That is. Oh, we got a super chat. Mattia, wow. Mattia sent us a 10 Australian dollar super chat saying the greatest. Uh, and love all homosexual people. Aww. Not no, not all of. Okay, you, I know you're gonna. Okay, Matteo, I know you gave me a ten dollars super chat, but I'm gonna correct you again. Okay, 
gay people have the same version, same number of a holes as the rest of us. Okay, they're not all good people. I don't love all of them. Some of them are good. Some of them are bad. Just like everybody else, they're not better. They're not worse. They're exactly well, other than their sexual orientation, they're exactly like everyone else. Okay, so the uh, fixing for homophobia does not mean that we should make people better than they are. Okay, they have probably the same percentage of a-holes as straight people, okay? So not I don't love all homosexual people, okay? A lot of them are not good. Some of them are good, just like everybody else, okay? They're the same. That's what, that's, you know. But again. <laughs> um, but thank you for the $10 super chat. I don't know you mean well. Yes, exactly. It's Michi. Michi is, what is that? Is that the name of Michi in English? Okay, let's get to you. Or the following chapter, atoning for the murder of a water dog, which is about how you'll be punished if you kill an otter. So, oh, otters are water dogs, and you're not supposed to kill otters. Who was going around and killing otters? Oh, actually, I know. But yeah, why was that the deal? Otter, okay, otter killing apparently was a big deal that Avesta needed to make you stop. And there's an okay, the Avesta have a toning for the murder of otters. Jeez, okay. Otter dog, which is about how you'll be punished if you kill an otter. So you should be like the prickly boy and the water dog and help fight against evil. Against turtles? 